You're watching TVC Breakfast. Now, from being one of the countries with the world's happiest people to one of the most depressed is a situation that Nigeria now finds itself. As a result, uh, more people are now opting for a way out of their perceived unbearable realities. Hence, the increase in the number of suicides recorded in the country. This is not only alarming, it is worrisome and calls for conscious and deliberate efforts to sensitize the general public on the existence of a silent thief, which is mental health disorder and depression that often leads people to consider suicide as a way out. Well, joining me now is a social commentator, Alako Miyamo Onidundu. Thank you for joining us on TVC from, uh, Breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. Now, we were once seen as the most happy people, according to the reports we just read, and suddenly we have about 800 million people uh, committing suicide. What is at the root of this, and how worrisome is this? Well, um, thank you. Don't forget that suicide doesn't just happen. Mm. It's uh, a mark of, you know, an expression of hopelessness. You know, uh, it's the last resort. Okay, and also it shows... Is it really a resort? Well, for some people, it's a, it's a last resort. Um, uh, jokingly, there's a Yoruba proverb that says, uh, you know, ikuya you a senlo. That says, look, rather than being disgraced, I would rather you know, come to suicide. You know, people, you know, are hoeing banks, debts, you know, there's no job, you know, and all that, you know. While not uh, saying this is the way out, do you understand that? But I'm saying that look, it, it's a pointer to what also those in governance, you know, those, those you know, at the helms of power, should begin to look at. Because but, but before we go to what they should begin to look at, there are persons who have everything, so yeah. to speak. You see them, they are happy, they have whatever it is, they may not necessarily be owing, but then you hear that they committed suicide. Well, you know, likewise, don't forget that, look, we are in a global village now. A lot of foreign influence is also, you know, affecting also our African values. You know, and some of this foreign influence, for instance, you know, in, in, in Japan, you know, it's, it's an honor even to commit arakiri, you know, to commit suicide. Don't forget. You know, so, you know, all this Western influence and all that, you know, and also the Eastern influence, you know, is, is also, you know, e e erasing, you know, the, the African values of, you know, you know life is sacrosanct, you know, we will, we will, you know, uh, we believe it, it will be well, you know, you know, uh, you know it, it's eroding it. So, uh, we, we, Nigerians just take hook, line, and sinker you know, all these foreign influences and all that without even, you know, taking what is good there and throwing away what is bad. So, you know, it's both internal, the internal state of things and also the external influences, you know, and so we must begin to differentiate and begin to you know, on, only embrace those things that, you know, that are very good from... from, from, from Where do we begin when we, we're talking about embracing uh, things that are good? As an individual, where do we begin? And then as a government, because you were talking about yeah. a gov the government's role before I, I, yeah. I, I cut in at the time. How can the government address this issue? Well, don't forget, suicide is an outcome. Okay? There is a root. So what the government can address is the root. The root are the social economic problems. The root are the value erosions. The root are, you know, you know people perceiving hopelessness even in, 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 in the last result of the common man, which is the law court, you know, the roots are all, all in social injustice and all that. Those are the roots. Okay, you know, suicide is an outcome. You know, it's, it's like when you are doing performance measurement, okay, uh, it's the metric to look at, you know, how things are panning out, you know, in, in terms of all those root, root factors. So if it is on the increase, you know, the way, you know, it's been reported, you know, 800 million Nigeria and all that, you know, I, I pray that, that that's not a truth. You know, the, the, the truth. It's not a thousand. You know, it's, it's a large number. Hmm. It's a large number. I pray that's not the truth. You know, but I'm, I'm saying this, that government should first of all look at what is in internal. And basically, don't forget also that we can only control, you know, what is internal to us. We can't control what is external. Hmm. So let us control the internal. Let hmm. values, you know, we, we need mass mobilization. You know, we need ministry of information. We need all this, you know, uh, information apparatus. You know, to to begin to drum back in, into our hairs, you know, right. into our schools, you know, uh, into the youth, in the, the value of life of and all that. Yes, needs to be done yeah. when it comes to suicide. Thank you for your time on TVC Breakfast. You're welcome.